back. The Ten Commandments are not merely about religion, they serve as an ancient code of human behavior that the heartist is on the verge of unveiling to the world. Within the heartist's heart resides a divine mission from God, through which he is currently reincarnating the profound principles of the Ten Commandments. This ancient code, known as the Torah, holds a sacred nature and possesses relevance for all individuals. In the Bible, the mention of Israel ought not to be confined to a specific group of people as it is commonly perceived in contemporary times. Instead, it should be comprehended as Yishael, signifying anyone whose heart resonates truly with God. Therefore, the Torah and the Bible hold significance for the entirety of humankind. The Hartist firmly believes that in today's world, the Torah is accessible to all of humanity, regardless of their beliefs, religion, gender, or age. I simply inserted a dash in the word Israel, transforming it into a new meaning where the core principles of the Bible become a global possession said the Hartist, and also comment Yisha El means that my heart is aligned with God, I strongly believe that we should welcome this idea and, consequently, accept all individuals as they are showing them love and the love of God, added the Hartist. In the current era of rapidly evolving consciousness and a constantly changing world, it is likely that the Torah and religions worldwide may not hold a significant place in the future. This is mainly due to the historical dominance of religious coercion that has prevailed over the past 2000 years. The individuals of the future seek freedom of thought, love, and equality as core values. This ongoing era we find ourselves in, often referred to as the Age of Aquarius, encapsulates precisely these ideals. People are also searching for truth, and the truth contained within the sacred scriptures is currently being interpreted in a subjective manner that associates it exclusively with a chosen people. This is where I come into play, standing confidently before everyone and proclaiming with conviction that the Torah is meant for all, God is inclusive of everyone and the notion of God favoring one gender is erroneous. God belongs to all individuals, and intermediaries are no longer necessary as the divine presence resides within each and every one of us.